everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today, we're gonna be taking a look at the P. Louise subscription box for October. I am so excited. I am a little thrown off by the packaging because it definitely looks like Valentine's Day packaging, but it's okay because I did get one spoiler of what might potentially be inside of this box. P. Louise came out with two Halloween palettes. They both look absolutely amazing. And they said they're not gonna say which one you're gonna get, but you're gonna get one of the two. So what I ended up doing was that I went on to their website as soon as both palettes became available, and I also purchased just both of them on my own since I didn't know which one I was gonna be getting and I knew that I wanted both. And so whichever one ends up being a duplicate, I am going to include in my advent calendar that I'm gonna be putting away for you guys. I have several other videos that I've also already filmed of unboxings of other advent calendars. And my plan is that at the end of November, I am going to put just a massive advent calendar together for you guys with a whole bunch of different products and one of you will be winning that for Christmas. So that's my plan. So I don't know yet what's in here, but we're gonna take a look. <laughs> there we go. All right, so inside of here i definitely see the palette but we're gonna take a look at the other two products first so the first thing up that we have in here is their repair from 2022 this is a repair lotion i wonder if it is for your i'm guessing it's for your face um interesting well, let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like. So this is the bottle right here, very cute, typical P. Louise packaging in pink, and it has a little pump on there. Let's just give a little bit of a pump in the hand, see how it feels. Very lightweight, has a very light scent to it that's refreshing, um, not food like I would say a little bit perfumey as far as like ever so slightly floral but very light and refreshing I mean it just it feels very very nice and I would say that this is probably for your face if I had to guess just based on the size of it and everything um but I will double check on the website just to make sure um but I'm pretty sure this is for your face but it feels very very nice and light and yeah, I'm very excited about that. I have been changing my skincare a little bit lately, and so I've noticed some positive changes already where my face is significantly more hydrated. I don't have quite as much of like bags under the eyes, so I've been very excited about that. If it continues to get better, then I will let you guys know what I'm using so that you could potentially try it out too. The second product in here is a Drive Me Balmy love potion so we have sweet to the core and far from the tree so you have two different moisturizing lip balms in here um, i do love their duos for lip products and this packaging is just so cute i mean that's that's just adorable you have apples all over it and the coloring is super cute and i think these boxes are just absolutely adorable inside here we do have these two products and they're supposedly both different types of balms. So let's see what we've got. This is the first time I'm seeing something like this. So this is definitely a new product. Um, I have not seen lip balms of this type on their website at all. So very excited about this. Um, plus I love apple scented things, very fall. So I love that. So let's look at the tube one first. And this is Far From The Tree, is the scent slash flavor. And it says on here, it's just a moisturizing lip balm. So let's see here. Oh, it does smell like apple. That's very, very nice. This is what the applicator looks like on there. It's just a little squeezy applicator. Um, very much the same as some of their other applicators that they have for their lip glosses. And then we have Balmy For You in sweet to the core is what this kind of stick is oh that is adorable oh my god <laughs> okay this is what it, it's a little heart shape on there and it's green that is so so cute i mean look at that little heart shape on there let me see how do you even you click it 
Okay, because I was like, how would you twist that without messing up the heart? You click it. Yep, and there it's starting to go. I will say that the scent on this is almost, I can't, ever so slight. I get a little bit of apple on there. I don't have anything on my list right now though, so I'm very excited to try this guy out. Wow, that is so nice and hydrating. I definitely can get a little bit of the apple scent. I mean, this might be my new favorite lip balm because this is so cute. <laughs> and the little clicker thing on there, I don't have anything like that. So I actually really, really like this. I'm gonna have to check out their website to see if they have any others that are kind of similar to this in other flavors. So very, very awesome. But then we have the final product in here and it is one of the two Halloween palettes. So because this is the one in here, this is also the one that one of you guys could potentially win in the advent calendar. This is it. So they had a light one and a dark one. And so very clearly this is the light one that is in there and it is massive as they always are, but it's also massive because it is two sided. Oh, and it's so cool. So this very much so reminds me of the ones that they had earlier released from this year that are the dual sided ones. Although this does not light up. The old ones that they had, the little keyhole things light up with different colors. But I absolutely love this design with the little heart locket thing on here. So when we just turn the key and we unlock it, let me get this out of here so we can open it up. So there's that, this just opens up right there. And then we have the two different sides. So this is the Book of Spells, Hocus Pocus Regain Focus. And on the side here, it says, Hocus Pocus Regain Focus. Sometimes razor edged words come from those who lurk closest. Very interesting. I love the book look to it. They have an entire like, poem or you could think about it potentially being a spell depending on what you think of that kind of stuff i love everything witchy so i think this is so cool and then when you open it up this is the one side which is just so good for the halloween shades on there i absolutely love those colors i mean so so gorgeous I love how the greens are a bit more on the grungy side, which is awesome. And then on the other side, on the back, we have very typical fall shades instead. So you're getting like your Halloween shades and you're getting fall shades in this palette. That is absolutely awesome. I love that they're also starting to incorporate some more duo chromes uh, inside of their palettes. So like this shade right here, Spooky Season, is pink with some champagne mixed in there. And then you also definitely have on this side, the Shapeshifter green shade. Looks like it has some shiftiness to it. Maybe Bubble Up as well, uh, which is this green guy right there. Don't Ghost Me looks like it's almost borderline a little bit holographic on there. So I absolutely love it. And their matte formula for me is my absolute favorite formula. If you are someone that loves a lot of pigment, you will love their formula. So one of you is going to be winning this in the uh, the advent calendar. So the way that I have the advent calendar set up is it's just gonna be one individual that will win. And I'm gonna, as we go through some of the other videos that I have already filmed, you're gonna start to see some other things that might be in there. So you'll get sneak peeks of some of the items. Not everything though, because there are some things that I already got well prior to now that I'm gonna be including in there. And so some of it will be surprises. Some of it will be things where you're like, oh, I know this is coming. Um, but this palette will definitely be one of the things that is included because I know a lot of you guys struggle with how expensive the shipping is for P. Louise, which I totally understand. And so I am going to include a fairly hefty number of P. Louise products in there for you guys to try out, as well as some other things. So I am very excited. There's gonna be some Glam Shop products in there, some other stuff. 
but we have a ton of unboxings coming. I do apologize for my voice in a couple of them, uh, just because I lost my voice when I was at a competition, um, and so it was a little bit rough, but my voice is back mostly now, so that's why it's sounding a bit more normal. But that is, that is it for this unboxing, but I really, really enjoyed all of the products. You're getting four full-size products, which to me is just absolutely awesome. This lotion smells really, really nice. I'll let you guys know how it feels on the skin. I'm probably gonna wear it as a daytime lotion. And then these guys, if you are someone that enjoys apple scented anything, you're gonna love these because it's that crisp apple. It, it's not so much the um, like fall, like mixed with cinnamon. It's that crisp, like Granny Smith apple, like the green Granny Smith apple. So if you enjoy that scent, you're gonna love these. So definitely check them out. But that is it for the box. Let me know what you guys thought of everything. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you did not, as we always do here. And if you made it to the end of the video, I definitely suggest uh, subscribing. We've got a ton of really awesome things coming. I have a whole bunch of advent calendars that I'm gonna be unboxing for you guys. I haven't really seen too many people unbox the same advent calendars as the ones that I am unboxing, which is very exciting um, because I normally feel like everybody's unboxing the same stuff. And I, I love watching what everyone is getting, but it's kind of nice that I have some different ones. So those will all be coming up for you guys. Um, and yeah, that is, that is about it. But please come join our family here. We talk a ton about indie brands. We do a bunch of colorful makeup. I love swatching stuff for you guys. And so if that sounds like fun, definitely come join us. Drop a comment down below on the brands that you are loving these days. I do also have uh, my ranking video that is gonna be coming up very, very soon for all of the Halloween palettes that I picked up so you guys can kind of see what I grabbed for this year, how I think they all stack up against each other. So that is very, very exciting too. So make sure you stick around for that. But that is all I have for you guys and just go have a good one.